My name's Cole Emerson. I'm a mechanical engineering senior and uh, I'm working on this guy, a uh, human powered vehicle. My name's Steve. I'm a mechanical engineering senior um, and this was my project, the HPV. And my name's Judd. I'm on the human powered vehicle team. My name is Aaron Vaughn and I am a senior mechanical engineer at Colorado State University and um, I was on the human powered vehicle project. Uh, my name is Caleb. I'm a senior mechanical engineering major and uh, I thought just the human powered vehicle is just a really fun project. My name is Scott. I'm senior in mechanical engineering working on the human powered vehicle senior design project. Every year we have uh, senior design and um, basically you can choose which project you want to be on and usually uh, you give your top five picks and you, you get the, usually get the project you want to be on and I really wanted to be on the HPV this year um, and basically what we do is design from scratch um, um, a vehicle or a human powered vehicle that um, you can compete with uh, in the competition sponsored by ASME which is this American Society of Mechanical Engineering. Well, senior design in general, I think it gives you an opportunity to kind of see all facets of the engineering process, you know, from the original design all the way to the final, final product. I don't think you get that in a lot of the other classes here. So it kind of, you know, you put everything that you've worked towards in your four years. Well, all of us had a role in it, um, obviously, and we all collaborated um, in every piece of this bike. Um, I was on the frame to start out, so um, just the main frame tube, with um, with the seat here and the roll bar setup, I was uh, one of the riders. Did some of the competition. Also uh, helped design the frame. Mainly, what I worked on this year, uh, I did a lot of um, project planning and uh, budget, um, a lot of budget planning. Um, I did a lot of manufacturing and some design on the roll bar. My role was kind of picking out components for it. Um, and routing the drivetrain, stuff like that. Um, and then did a lot of machining, manufacturer type stuff like that as well. I worked on design of the steering. Uh, mainly it was kind of one of my assigned, um, that included like the geometry of the axles here and then all the steering linkages. Um, so that was kind of one of my initial design challenges. And then I did a lot of the, worked on a lot of the analysis for Pretty much everything in the frame. Uh, my role in this bike pretty much was dealing with all the steering linkage and the steering geometry. And the process is you start, you know, kind of with scratch paper and concept design, uh, and napkins, that type of thing, and you kind of move into the computer aided design. Put the bike all in Pro, Pro E, model it up, and make sure everything's good, and um, you know, actually a analyze the specifics and make sure that it will be strong enough. And then once you're uh, satisfied with your design, you can move on to manufacturing. A lot of us don't have much experience in a shop. Uh, and so a lot of us had to just kind of pick up and say, I'm going to learn how to do this. Um, I also learned how to weld uh, this year, um, which saved us a lot of money too. Uh, I, we, we did TIG welding on the bike, um, and basically I, uh, from our advisor, he taught me how to do it like one day. Um, then I went and got a video of TIG welding. Um, so that's a pretty valuable skill, I'd say, that I learned from this project. So, And I did the whole bike, which was pretty fun. We went to competition. There's three separate races. There's a utility race, an endurance race, and a sprint event. And we designed our vehicle for the utility race. Yeah, this year it was in Reno, Nevada, and uh, it was held on April 18th through the 20th. I mean, I guess the, the purpose of this utility competition is just uh, having a a bike that could be used as everyday. Um, one of the criteria, I guess, is could grandma ride to the grocery store and get groceries with this? So it's, um, you want it to be really easy to ride. We did really well. We uh, got first in our race that we raced and we got second overall. Um, you know, I think why it is, is we took a lot of time in manufacturing and, and really had time to test the bike and make sure that everything was put together well and built to our specifications. We watched quite a few teams, you know, sit on the side of the race course and kind of play around with things that were breaking and not working on their bikes and we we didn't have to stop once. Whenever you build something from scratch um, for something functional like this it works really well you can get around town in it. Um, it just I don't know there's like a certain reward um, to being able to build something and have it work. This project was just really really fun to work with another group of students 
Uh, we made some. I felt like I made some good friendships just with people. Uh, it showed us showed me a lot of the design process and how you're going to go from a conceptualized. We're going to build this three wheel bicycle. I kind of have an idea in my mind to actually physically getting the parts and then making the parts and putting it all together. I've enjoyed my my time at CSU. I've loved loved the classes, loved the school, and loved the area. I went one trade it for anything else.